Hey guys, uh, welcome back to K2H YouTube channel Knives to Have. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna take a look at SC Izula 2. We just got these uh, in and I wanted to show you guys what this knife is all about. Uh, I've been looking at Izula for a while and I always thought that it would be a great pocket knife. Um, a fixed blade pocket knife you know we carry folders but it's always good to have a pocket knife um, that that is a fixed blade there's just some things that fixed blades are better at than than the folders so prior to Izula I've uh, tried Becker Necker I believe this one is called and uh, TDI K-Bar and uh, they all serve certain purposes uh, Becker Necker is uh, you know, more of a survival blade, uh, utility blade, where TDI is more of a tactical self-defense blade. But I haven't been able to find one knife that would serve both purposes well enough and I think uh, with Izula 2 SE hit the home run and let me explain to you why I think that first of all let's take a look at it it's extremely ergonomic design wow when I first pulled this blade out of its sheath I was pretty much blown away the handle is extremely comfortable. If uh, if we compare this Izula 2 with the original, we'll see that the length of the handle has been uh, increased by, I believe, one inch. And the canvas micarta handles now completely cover the tang of the blade. Originally, they ended around here, so you had an exposed tang um, and it wasn't as comfortable and now they've really made it into a real knife uh, Izula, original Izula was more of a um, neck knife uh, but this one while it can still serve as a neck knife it certainly is in its own category now uh, the handle is very comfortable in any kind of holding and they managed to maintain the weight uh, very low and this is one of the key uh, features why I think this knife is a great fixed blade pocket knife let's take a look at what exactly I'm talking about here let me pull out the scale and show you exactly what, what we're dealing with So let's weigh Izula first. With the sheath, it's um, just over four ounces, 405. Now let's compare this to Becker Necker knife. 4.25, but notice that it has no scales, no uh, handles, right? So if we put the handles there with the screws, look where it brings us to. Five ounces, almost an ounce heavier than Izula. Okay, so that's Becker Necker. And you might think one ounce is not a big deal, but it actually is. Now TDI is uh, 3.7 ounces. So it's a little bit lighter than uh, Izula by um, uh, 0.35 ounces. And, but realize that this knife can only serve one purpose, self-defense tactical blade. I mean, you could use it for other things, but this is not Izula. 
you know let's let's compare them side by side I mean we, we're talking about completely different purpose blades right you can do everything you can do pretty much everything uh, with the Zula that you would with uh, K bar TDI for self defense needs but you cannot do uh, a lot with uh, TDI and all those chores can be easily taken care of with Izula such as uh, you know uh, doing some woodwork uh, in the in the bush uh, doing some bushcraft tasks uh, splitting wood of course it's not gonna do all these tasks as a uh, as well as the big knife but it can certainly handle them and if that's and if this is the only knife you have with you guess what it's gonna do its job it's just gonna take care of you if you take care of it okay so I don't even think uh, I, the reason I brought TDI out is just to just to show you that they did an amazing job with Izula by bringing its weight down by keeping its weight so low at four or five ounces that's unbelievable now uh, let's uh, compare this to my staple knife fault even f1 with uh, sheath it's seven ounces almost seven ounces so this is substantial uh, weight difference if you're going to the mountains where chances of you needing to split wood are slim to none but you still want to bring a fixed blade I would choose this knife now that I have it versus the F1 well the F1 is an awesome blade and I, uh, I completely depend on it it's just not as light right I mean this is substantial weight difference 6.95 versus 4 for me I mean uh, you know other people uh, might, have, might have a different opinion but I, I think it uh, it matters okay so let's um, let's compare it with something else for the last uh, month since we got back from Chamonix I've been carrying uh, paramilitary with me on the trail uh, but take a look at it it's uh, 3.75 ounces which is excellent right this is where we want to be 3.75 is good for EDC for the mountains but it's not much uh, lighter than Izula right I mean 3.75 versus 405 it's not too bad here you get a fixed blade with you versus a folder right but the main advantage of Izula is that you can baton through wood with it you probably don't want to do this with your paramilitary right so yeah I think uh, clearly this will replace my paramilitary on the trail in fact I've been carrying this blade with me uh, uh, Izula 2 for the last five days in the pocket and it just disappears there I don't feel the weight much it um, uh, the sheath is excellent doesn't have any kind of bulk to it and that's what I really love about it because once you s uh, slide this in the pocket it just disappears there compare this to this <coughs> knife uh, Becker Necker and um, it's just bulky look at it it's just so bulky it takes up so much room it has all these uh, sharp points here and there um, they're just in completely different uh, category here okay and I bought these uh, scales for the Becker and I I still haven't installed them because they don't fit 
and it's ridiculous you know the, they they sell these scales that don't fit I still have to um, send it down so it fits the the knife but not I don't think at this point I'm gonna bother with this because uh, Izuwa does everything this knife could do and more uh, look at the balance point here look the balance point let me get rid of the scale the balance point on this blade it, it's tip heavy it's extremely uh, uncomfortable when I hold this knife I feel like I'm missing something you know and, and I'm missing the heft and the handle and probably if I installed the scales it would have been a little bit better but I don't think so I mean it's just um, this knife is not very balanced compare this to Zula first of all with the sheath the balance point is right here it's so comfortable to hold this without the sheath the balance point is right where the first screw is somewhere somewhere there maybe a little bit further back so it's great I mean it, it feels very light in your hand you can you can uh, position your finger this way you can do reverse grip not a problem any kind of holding you want to do with this blade it uh, it works now a few things you have to know about this I'm sure you do but just uh, for those that don't know maybe it's worth mentioning uh, this is a uh, 1095 steel and as you can see it's coated and the reason for coating is that it protects the blade from rust the only thing that's exposed here is the actual edge the actual you know cutting edge that's the shiny part right there yeah so as this wears off with heavy use you know you need to pay a little more attention to this blade by um, uh, keeping it lubricated and maybe wiping it down after each use before you sheath it because if you don't it's gonna get uh, rusty and the second thing is um, canvas micarta handle uh, this handle is very comfortable it's it's got great traction but with great traction comes the price this material is porous it does absorb a little bit of water if you get it wet not a big deal right but if you're working with blood processing meat skinning game it's something you need to be aware of the blood get will get uh, a little bit soaked into this uh, handle and you just have to take a little better care uh, of cleaning it after its use I guess not a big deal but I worked at the meat plant and I know that this kind of handle would not be allowed there on the table on the butcher's table uh, but in the survival situation um, I don't think this is a big issue it sure beats the paracord now uh, let's uh, let's talk about uh, how you carry this blade I'm not a big fan of uh, carrying knives on my neck that's just me there are plenty of people out there that love it it works for them I'm just not that person uh, this blade is really comfortable in my pocket and uh, I think that's where it's going to be spending most of its time uh, because it's so light it's just like carrying a folder and the sheath is uh, uh, low profile there are no sharp corners anywhere it just uh, carries very nicely in the pocket and that's it guys just uh, wanted to show you this uh, great blade SC Izula 2 Hope you enjoyed the video and see you later. Bye bye.
Thanks for watching.